Hello everybody, welcome to the second quarter final of season 48. At least I think it's 48, it might be 47. <laughs> We've got Fatal Justice and his Amazons versus Misspelled Tree and her Dark Elves. In the booth with me is Dimmy G the Champ. Hello. Hello Jim, how are you? I'm very, very excited about this one. Um, we've got one of my favourite teams um, playing, Amazons. <laughs> and we've got also good Amazons playing, which are the Dark Elves. Yeah, funny that, isn't it? When Dark Elves get skills, they, they end up with a team full of blood that are all Agility 4 and Armor 8 instead of, <laughs> instead of Agility 3 and Armor 7. But yes. Uh, oh, that's a... Yeah, the dark elves. The, the dark elves aren't that good, but the uh, but the Amazons are the team with a wizard. Is in Amazon's got a wizard, so right? Yeah. Wait, they've both I mean, got babes. What? I'm confused. Did Tree overdog a babe? Must have done, I, right? Yeah, mate. It's a really weird thing that I've seen a lot of people doing recently, and I don't really get it. But. No, neither do I. There we go, there's the one on the dodge away from tackle. And we've, we've got a Daka! We've got a Daka! We have, we have. So, superior play being demonstrated by Tree early in the in the game. Yes, we'd love to see it. Pure blood bowl. Out of range of the tackle pommer. Beautiful. Well, unless we have a double GFI. Will we see a double GFI tackle pommer? Got I four re-rolls. Because I'm a mad lad. Yeah, it's only a bet. It's not a good I think. It's and, I, and I would obviously foul that. Um, yes. Fouling this is definitely the play. Max Can you assist. see the play, guys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I love the max assist foul here. I yeah, mean... It's good to this one. See, the GFI would have burnt the pushes, and then he would have rolled a pow, and yeah. he would have won. He would have <laughs> killed someone. <laughs> he would have won. Just a rookie, though, and he can't... He can't no, I'm won. joking, mate. I, I'm uh. obviously being... Uh, I'm being comical for anyone watching on YouTube that doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, what a brilliant foul. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, send off as well. That's brilliant for Tree. Yep. Mr. Foul bait strikes again. Yeah. Best player on any team. Yeah. Do you go up this side now? Like This could be one where you just abandon the DACA straight away. Yeah, right? just it's, like, it's so like easy. Like This is what I was saying about the foul is it give up quite a lot of position like it's great if you if it's worth it and you get the removal and stuff but like positionally like the amazon's screwed now like the, the drive is over pretty much you would think like, so yeah like the dark elves can just get up and around them pretty easily like they're they're faster aren't they they're faster than dark uh, than amazons they're yeah. like more more agile especially with this guy look at his movement nine sidestep sprint what a player yeah and you, you like you think PC's always a big fan of just taking space when it's there, you know. Yeah. But Tree is not taking space. Sting. No, this is, uh, this is a bit half and half, which I find. Yeah, trying to stretch the field, I guess. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. Yeah. She's got a good shape where she's not going to get based up by like loads of zones and banged on. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have hated. Either this or these two being here or pushing forward completely. I think they're. Right. I would have probably, I would probably have pushed forward and tried to reverse the field and then get a screen behind the Amazons and like. The only danger of that is scoring early though, isn't it? So that might be on a mind. You might be thinking, I don't want to score early, so I'll just hang back. And there's the wizard as well, right? If you push up everybody here, then um, then maybe the wizard come in and wreck you. So. Yeah. Reroll? No reroll. Well, I guess it's a ah. low quality player. Low quality player, Jim. <laughs> Is his name Dimmy? Way. Hey. No, he's high quality player. Oh, his name's Jimmy. <laughs> no, Dimmy's a high quality player. Oh, right. <laughs> <Banner. laughs> oh, mighty blow, not doing a thing. Diced. Mm. Interesting. Nice. This is the old half mighty duck formation, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is quite a quite a diagonal line we have going on here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not really a dacker because you're getting pommed every turn, so if they want yeah. to. Yeah. So it's a bit weird. 
Like I say, it's half. It's like, it's like a halfway in between, isn't it? Mm. I guess the wizard is playing like heavily on the mind as well, because I, I I wouldn't really know how I really want to solve this. No, it's in, it is interesting from both from both I mean, parties, stre- isn't it? It's how how do you play yeah. the offense, and then how do you play the defense? Yeah. I think stre- uh, stretching the Amazons is definitely a good thing because obviously they got the guard advantage and stuff. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, didn't you? What did I say? <laughs> it wasn't even that bad, it's just that they're Amazons, aren't they? So. Oh, they're just garbage, aren't they? They're, like, they're literally garbage. Like, <laughs> can anyone see, like... They're low AV, they're low agility. <laughs> like, they're just, they're just designed to bang on new players in CCL. Yep. With, with ridiculous TV. Was this gonna come here and push that? Yes, oh. Wolfbag, yeah, that's what I was that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for saying out loud instead of just letting people <laughs> work it out for themselves. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, this is the problem by doing that, you do get these little ones where like people are, you know, downed and marked and this is terrible. Like Committing your Rackler to this guy is terrible. Yeah, I don't know about that. And then a, and a blodge guard as well. This is this is a gross uh, misuse of fatal justices uh, resources. Play. Yeah, I've not been uh, like I don't know. It's tough, isn't it? It's just getting the run around at the moment. Yeah. And the problem, like losing a dirty player first turn, is horrendous because. You imagine that dirty player removes that and stays on the field, and then every turn someone's going to get fouled, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's ins- it's insane the difference, like the swing of that one foul. Yeah, this could have been yeah. this guy removed, other ones removed every turn or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, he just seems like he lost his kind of game plan with the dirty player, and now he's just sort of running around chasing shadows, hoping that his tackle bomber rolls to power, which it hasn't yet. <laughs> so, just Look been at running this, around. Demi. Look at this. Three plus dodge, two plus dodge. Oh, fails it. <laughs> but look at the ball. Oh dear, hang on. That is... Yeah. <laughs> this is not a screen. <laughs> um, oh yeah. man. Oh man. I mean, you've got to believe that Tree thought this was two, right? Like, you know, this yeah. guy's here, right? And just... Well, did he his... blitz the witch and push it or something because the witch wasn't there yeah yeah he blitzed the witch and pushed it last turn so maybe just yeah maybe she forgot that it was pushed yeah it's a trap (laughs) this is uh, this is a bit of a trap like this is a bit of a space cadet right because unless you (laughs) unless you recover the ball here you're uh you're not doing a whole lot oh well there you go having two on him was amazing now and that lets him recover the rackle as well yeah Rick Reckless dying as usual. <laughs> <laughs> Every team I put him on, he's, he died. You and Rick die all the time. <laughs> and PC. He's got a power to there. That's the wrong push, isn't it? Uh, you have to push to here so you can get two tackles on his I think. Oh, he's going to pom, so. Oh, he's gonna pom. And he's you killed kill him. him. There you go. Yeah. So I quite Good like choice. the push direction, Jim. <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. Plus the recovery, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you can recover. Luckily, you can recover. Yeah, I just want to say, with this, was that Apo? That was the Apo gone? Um, yep, that was Apo, and the Apo failed. I was gonna say, like that is a devastating loss for Mister Tree. Like, Apo was a six. Blitz. Yeah, losing that Agi five Delph Blitzer is pretty horrendous, and uh, it will definitely be on her minds like for the remainder of the game for sure yeah it's one of them psychological blows that you get in blood bomb yeah. yes Rico, you can hardly blame this on the deck <laughs> this is absolutely not to be blamed on the deck a million percent this is not the deck's fault yeah it was just a slip of concentration I guess yeah yeah it has to just be an oversight And it's still, it was a 1 in 36, wasn't it? That, uh... yeah, it was a 1 in 9 dodge as well, though. Like, it, it was yeah. a snake, but it was a 1 in 9 dodge before it. Oh my god, what? Oof. 
Went for the pass still and failed. Oh, man, look at that scatter as well. Yeah. Like not even on, not even on the wedge. Yeah. <laughs> Just bounces off the freedom. Like cheers. <laughs> I would have been better if she caught it. I would have made my day. It would have been a lot better for the for the Zons because they've got to pick it up. And what if they won in nine? Oh, they have done. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's brutal. See, if, if that Amazon was a Dark Elf, it would have picked that up. Yeah, exactly. And it wouldn't have used the reroll either. Yeah. <laughs> Just exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> Why Amazons are trash. Yeah. And now, Tree can pick it up, give it the move now. She clear the tackle bar first? No, no, I had to clear the, the one off the ball. Right? She's not ah. blitzed yet. Yeah, yeah, she blitzed with the uh, the wrestle, this wrestler over here. Blitzed the guy on the ball. But I would have, I would have based up this tackler to do the handle. Personally. Oh wait, there's a, there's a, there's a rando, rackle. <laughs> yeah, there's a rackler right here. Yeah. Oh my god, the genius of knowing. Where to position that rackle was, uh... Mm -hmm. What's that? I guess, yeah, just make this dodge. <laughs> Rolls a one. The back door is open. Yeah, I love going through the back door. <laughs> Way. So this is a GFI to hit with rackle, or two GFIs to hit with tackle might. It's so awkward, though, because it's sidestep, and yeah. it's... And like you, you can sidestep to into the diving tackle, can't you? Yeah. Um, which is probably what you're gonna do. I would have been tempted to blitz with a mighty blow, even though it's oh, double G if I just to have two yeah, guys yeah. to put in front. But uh... oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, that's brutal, isn't it? Oh, what a bait from Tree! What an absolute bait from Tree! Master baiter. Is is he in range? Yeah, he's moved nine with sprint. <laughs> just dodging off, yeah. No, I just meant like if he had to go rounds, but he doesn't, does he? Just, uh... Oh, and they're two big removals as well. Mm -hmm. Like losing the rackle on the GFI and then losing the Garda is pretty brutal. No reroll. Makes the GFI. Ooh. Easy. Perfect eight turn stall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> bubble. Never in doubt. Amazons have lost their dirty player, they've lost their Rackler. Oh, no. Ooh, Get all the tables back. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. Game on. <clears throat> and somehow and look, the, L the Ls have got banged out there, right? They've lost two players. They're down to nine. And because the Amazons have made their kills, the Amazons have got 11. So, you know, they're not doing bad at all, really, the Amazons. Like, although. Although, like, obviously, you'd feel terrible if you were the if you were the Zons there. Like, you've you've still two men up. Three plus with a reroll from being one nil up there. Yeah. And, and then being one nil down, like, in quick succession, it's it's a massive blow. But like I say, like the uh, the, the the dead player on Tree's team is obviously gonna be on our minds. And it's yeah. uh, huge. There's no apo for the Dark Elves, is there? So. Um, we've got a whole half of Blood Bowl. If you do, if you do your job and get the one nil on your drive, you're going overtime. Probably favours the Zons here. So yeah, game on if you're uh, Fatal Justice. Yeah, really, really, just got to keep his head in the game and not uh, not completely lose his head because he was a little bit unlucky. But let's let's see if that happens or not. <laughs> Have you, have you seen this one, Jim? <laughs> I might have done them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All he's got to do is keep his shit together and not not completely lose his mind and play absolutely horrendously for the rest of the uh, match. Sounds like it should be easy to do, but let's see if he manages it. <laughs> got to defend the one turn. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah, yeah, scoring on his own drive isn't going to be enough, is it, because the move 9 Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Is very good. So yeah, it makes scoring on your opponent's drive that much better, right, if he's 1-0 up now. Like, so it, oh, it, man, you know, yeah. it, it's, it is hard mentally, obviously, in these kind of situations. But, um... It's really hard, like, honestly, it's really tough, like, in Chalice as well, like, it's hard to take. Yeah, for sure. 
Like failing that GFI for a sack on the ball. And like, because that's the thing, like he failed to pick up and then he had like a blatant 2D with Rackle on the ball. <laughs> and then it's like, if it scatters backwards, uh, then it's interesting for the Dark Elves on whether they actually score or not, you know? So, because mm -hmm. the movement nine guy being on the floor, like after being wrestled or tackled or whatever, like he's not going to be in range. So, it makes it more interesting. But yeah. A lot of snakes tonight, like the Gdanic game, there was like three in the first two turns, and there was a snake from uh, the Amazons there, and obviously the uh, the Delphs with the, the diving tackle dodge was the snake where, where the free square gap was that <laughs> let the Amazons in. Yep. The classic Perivale cage. <laughs> Yes, the old Perivale cage, not the best, not the best way to defend the ball. Whether you're dackering yeah. or not. <laughs> <clears throat> so what we got, we got like nine L's, uh, nine L's yeah. and an LOS, two mighty blow hits at least. Yeah, there's a, there's a chance, there's a chance for the, uh, for the Zons. I mean, not for them to win Chalice, obviously, but to win this yeah. match. <laughs> they're missing stats, aren't they? Like, just not having stats on Zons is so bad. Like, because they're just... They're, their basic stat line is pretty garbage, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a Hobgoblin, isn't it? They're professional Hobgoblins. <laughs> yeah, Hobgoblins with dodge, yeah. Mm. And strength access and starting with bludge, four of them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but an Amazon line woman is a hobgoblin with dodge. Cheap though, isn't she? Yeah, 50k. Six, 50k, yeah. Very well, cheap. Well, hob, hob's like 40, isn't it? Yeah. Is he paying 10k for dodge? Pretty good deal, isn't it? Yeah, I'd take it, I'd take it. Mm. Obviously, I, 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 one of the reasons I hate Amazons, and I haven't mentioned this on stream before, is uh, when I was a little nipper in the Rebel League, some guy thought it would be great fun to have a line man league. All right. Uh, yeah, and my first game and last game in that line man league was against Amazons with Chaos, and uh, and uh, I decided that line man leagues were never for me ever again. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't talk to a few people anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and now I have an inherent hate for Amazon. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Right here, yeah, this is a this is a thing. There are three tacklers on the uh, on the Amazon team, right? And uh, one yeah. of them was just offered up as a sacrifice. Yeah, that's a pretty. Not what I would do. Not the record, no, or the mighty blow. <clears throat> it's what? Oh, you, she's hitting that one so she can follow up with Mighty Blow, yeah. 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 Still a bit weird, though, because... Yeah, if, if you, you get the pal, then... Yeah, <laughs> if you roll... <laughs> it's a little bit weird. But it was genius, but... because, you know... It works, got the yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a little bit weird. <laughs> I was, I see people do that all the time, and I'm like, just hit with Mighty Blow, like, you matter. <laughs> But obviously that was correct. So. so there you go. Turn turn one of the second half. The uh, one of the three mighty blows. Yeah, the yeah, one of the three strong. tacklers. Sorry. Yeah. But surely, surely fatal justice won't expose his, a tackler next turn. Surely not. I mean. I don't see how <laughs> he protects it anymore. No, yeah, he just he's just he's just sacrificed this one for some reason. Yeah. That's a bit bizarre. Why is that Lino back there as well? That could be the tackle money break, isn't it? Yep. It was, yep, store, yep. So he's bits in the diving tackle, right? You'd think so, but no. He's blitzing oh. the witch out. Oh. Getting wrestled. <laughs> mm. Would you foul the uh the killer there? 
Uh, I mean, there's a bear poop in the woods, so I was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does, Jim. <laughs> yep. Another pal. It's a risky one, though, isn't it? Nine players. It is a risky yeah. one, but this I guess I bomb. guess it's like, yeah, I guess it's like versus... That tackle bomb could remove a player a turn, whereas if you, you got one shot of removing it for... Oh, do you know what? Uh, do you know what? I've got an interesting thing here. This was took completely the wrong square for me. This assist, this guard assist. If you assist here, and you get the push, you can push to there, and then you can blitz with the guard assist. Right at the moment, um, uh, he's got to push away. Yeah, yeah he's got to push away, and then now you can only blitz this one that isn't the guard, right? Which is way worse. So I thought that was a more subtle mistake there. Good insight, Jim. Thanks. <laughs> But got to blitz the mate. Got to blitz the guard have anyway. You, have you played Blood Bowl before, Jim? I have, yeah, <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> and here we go. Three assist foul. Not bad. Oh, calcium's on the phone. <laughs> Great foul. Good. Good, good foul, Jim. He said, he said, "Tell Jim that was a good foul." Mm. What a what a difference from the the foul from the Zons here with a dirty player. Yeah, down to one tackle player. I mean, it was a rowdy foul, but I, yeah, I do like it. Like it's uh, it's yes, one of them. Like uh, to be fair, yeah, I feel I like Tree's in a losing position him, against Jesus. the Wizard with the like the tackle mighty blow on the field and stuff. Like, I so I I think the foul is. Correct, probably. I'll spray major ass. It's difficult, isn't it? It's just, it's just annoying players and no bribe, bro. That's yeah, yeah. It's like you don't want to do it, but there's obviously a, there's an amount of payoff, isn't there? It's the yeah, it's a tricky decision, I think. Yeah. There we go, feeding the mighty blow again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just literally just tackle mighty three, tackle mighty blows and oh, and so, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh yeah. man! Yeah, so so all three tacklers have been removed in the first three turns. Ridiculous. Yeah. Like the I only mean, thing you have to not do is the zones. <laughs> yeah, supposedly exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's a good play from Tree to recognise what. She, I mean, obviously it's a mixture of both, right? So it's obviously a few mistakes positionally versus um, good plays from Tree. So. Mm. And very lucky as as well, of course, like to just. Oh yeah, like the the t three removals in two blocks and a foul is insane, isn't it? It's, mm. it's, it's what dreams are made of. Yeah. It's why watching Blood Bowl is always better than playing it because you know that never happens when you play it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there's there's no universe or multiverse anywhere that that will actually happen if you play Blood Bowl yourself. So. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, really weird, really weird, I thought, from Fatal Justice, like, you know, you just have this YouTube cage, as some people call it, you know, the X cage, the five-man X cage, and then was trying to fight with, like, five or six zones, which then obviously got swamped and battered and fouled, and it's, like, just weird. Now he's down men somehow. Like, somehow he's down men, he's got eight left. And he's still obsessed with making an X cage, it's so weird. Yeah, exactly, Store. It's like it's he's thrown it away, in my opinion, in this second half. Unbelievable. But, you know, you can understand, in a way, being tilted right with due to the way the, way the first half went, being inches away from being 1-0 up into being 1-0 down is just brutal, isn't it? Yeah. And that's the thing, it's like, Tree's a decent player as well, so it's... Like, your, your mistakes and whatever are going to get punished. Hmm. Where it's like you do see it sometimes that like people make mistakes that just don't get punished. Yeah. But like every single mistake was punished and it was punished to the ultimate degree. Yep. And uh, now he's staring down the barrel with a loss, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Even with Wizards, yeah. This yeah. looks a bit rowdy as well. I don't know what you can do. No, I don't know where he's going. Is this just full potato the sideline? Like, I, uh, are we there yet already? <laughs> oh, <Sure>. stop. <laughs> Why did you have to do that? <laughs> Flip me. 
I mean, he was literally inches, wasn't he? So, so. Mm. The irony is that if he was Dark Elves, he would have scored. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which, yeah. is, which I find a very <laughs> happy thought. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, it makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> Sorry, Fatal Justice. Amazon's a, Amazon's a total garbage. <laughs> and I say that as someone who plays a lot of birds as well, you know. <laughs> so, so uh, bit weak here, wasn't it? From tree, this this guy should have been like yeah, yeah or like something. This is a there's a gaping hole here. That was. Not, oh, I'm glad you good. spotted it, Jim. I I didn't see it. <laughs> I I mean there there there's that excellent pro advice there from Jimmy. Like, look, at, look at that gaping hole lad, so I mean who would have seen that? <laughs> Thanks Jimmy, I'm glad you appreciate it. Oh mate, like you just make the, the cast amazing, Jim, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All your hard work and insight, yeah. Amazing. You're welcome, Jimmy. If I ever win Chalice, I'm gonna write you a DM on Discord and thank you personally. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh dear, and there's the there's the one. Well, wow. he's failed a few things, hasn't he? Yeah. What's the play here, Dim Dimmy? You, what you probably want to do is get this witch elf and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double GFI, so you can hit to like so GFI in the first, GFI in the second. This guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so maybe maybe triple dodge, right? In fact, you mm. just punch this first, maybe power it. And then yeah. one, one, two, three. Ah, oh, no. So it's a bit dangerous because if you do, so you hit this one. No, you can't because it's got guard. Yeah. Mm, so maybe you go just around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you'd have to do what three dodges, do them one at a time. And if you keep dodge up, then get the guard in, and then you can. Uh, you've got two dice into two dice. Lovely. Pretty easily. Lovely. Of course, do I get save moves first. But the witch yeah, has been I... activated! No! Uh, okay. That's not the guard one. No, there's the guard. But he's already. There's nowhere to blitz the ball now unless you just do it coming for a one D, which, yeah. Yeah, I did not like how Tree played this. I think if you're not gonna. if you know If you're not hitting with a witch elf. For 2D, then just blitz someone in front and, like, you know, base and everything, and now knocks them away from the diamond tackle as well. Like, if, yeah. you, if you're gonna do that, then just blitz this front guy with mighty blow and then, like, and stand here. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, That was a bit weird, so. And yeah, freed these two up and uh, gave them, a, gave them a lifeline. I definitely would have been looking at the other way, like. I mean, he could have even put the guard in and bits with the bits up, right? Yeah, without for a two. Without oh, without tackle, tackle but yeah, two D. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess a one D with tackle, yeah. Be... This doesn't look particularly safe. It's not particularly safe. Um. I'm not sure, Jim. Is there is there dice on the ball here? <laughs> like, can we yeah. just call on your expert analysis, please? Yes, Jimmy. There's definitely dice on the ball. Will those dice on the ball happen, though? Is the question. Um... You'd think they would. That's okay. The guard, yeah, go around. Defending the ball is super yeah, easy. Yes. Uh, mm. Could have chained her onto the tackle there, couldn't yeah. she? So bits. Yeah. But now by hitting that, it stopped the chain backwards as well, which. Yeah. Like literally, could have chained her on for a two D, and then you still got the blitz. Okay, now the bolt comes in. Oh, not dead. 
huge non-injury or removal. Pushes all that was bit. needed. Oh, the hand off. Hand off uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. To a catcher Makes as well. <laughs> Oh man. There you go. So you know when I said that overtime favours the Amazons? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know I don't know how, but sometimes like, I almost feel that it doesn't anymore. Yeah. yeah. Well, losing your tacklers, getting out bashed in that half is pretty unbelievable. And losing the tacklers as well, and now there is the one turn chance from Miss Bell Tree with the uh Movement 9 sprints, so it only needs one push. Yeah, one push. And there are only 10 zons. There's one sidestepper. Okay, so here's the kick, and it's a quick snap. So, <laughs> if if you have got the foggiest clue how Misspell Tree is meant to score this one turn without without a quick snap, <laughs> I would like to know what the hell she was thinking. <laughs> I've got no idea, like, I've got genuinely no idea. It, it's a bit crap because you can't see the skills anymore. Um, yeah, I can't see what you mean. No, okay, so you just got to imagine this guy's one back, right? This guy was one square back. Um, I've got no idea what a one-turn attempt was. Like, I've literally got no idea, because if you didn't know this, if you forgot this guy had sidestep, then you put the, the the move nine guy here and the guard here and just come in for the blitz diagonal that he, he sidesteps up. And you know, and then he goes through this weak spot. Could he use the, the witch elf on the line and a hole method or something, you know, or or, or not even the yeah. hole, whatever. There's just or, loads of things that, but I just, I've literally got no idea how she was doing Maybe she wants push. to uh, power the sidestepper with the tackle mighty blow and then come in through there. But even then there's still a, there's still a hole here, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, I guess. And there's just a loner here. It was like... It was a bit weird, yeah. Yeah, but then if you're hitting the guard to fill the square, then then you put the guard, you start with the guard here and the mighty blow there, and you hit the you hit that with the, with the mighty blow, and then pow them, and then this guy, why didn't this guy just start here then? If he was going to blitz, then he goes there and blitzes, and then you get this side step up to here, but then you've got to do a fall three and that stuff, and it's just... Four three three two. Like it was, it was really terrible. I've got no idea. Maybe Tree will comment, or like you know, maybe it's a total brain fart. But that was just, this was one of the worst one turn attempts with it. When you need one push as well with sidestep. Really, really, really bad one turn. It looks so. like she's trying to dodge him behind the lodge step, all right, with the witch. Yeah, I've got, I've got no, I've genuinely got no idea how she was planning to do it. Like no idea. <laughs> Genuinely, yeah. just no idea. I can't work out what she was trying or what she was thinking. But now, with a quick snap, it's uh, it's pretty easy, isn't it? Uh, wow, well, that was a pretty unlucky <laughs> KO, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, in a way, not that bad though, because you know, there's but, all things. There's all things. Yeah, happening. it's a loner anyway, isn't it? So it's. Uh... You don't really want to be taking that block. Yeah, exactly. So with all these blocks out, um, slight mistake here. It is better to go for the loner dodge pickup and off than it is to go for this GFI pickup pass. But you know that's that's marginal. But it it was better to go for the loner pickup and off. Interesting. Hmm. And then, there we go. 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus! Oh! No! Oh. On his ass. There you go. I think that was, I think that was fair, considering the setup. 
<laughs> Lorenzo. You know, no offense to that no offense to trade all of course, but that was a weird, really, really weird, bad one turn attempt. The question is, is if she wins the toss, does she try one turn again? <laughs> <laughs> well she has won the toss. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad idea, is it just going for the one turn? Because you can't defend I mean, yeah. against the one turn as the yeah. zones. And you're quite um, high odds to just score it. Is there a wizard still? Or was the wizard gone? The wizard uh, was gone. Yeah, bolted, bolted the sidestepper to. Uh, oh yeah, it is, yeah. To score, yeah. I remember that because it didn't break armor, did it? Sadly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you could put the you could put the sidestepper here, blitz in, go forward. Basically, no dodges, so it just be GFIs. Re really, really high odds of scoring the one turn. I got caught out by Ducky doing like similar. Like it wasn't a one turn, but it was a two turn. Like in overtime with Dark Elves, and it, it caught me out. And, like he just because I still had the wizard, so he was just like, "No, I send this game now." Mm -hmm. It was a bit, a bit of an idea. My perfect defense would have stopped it. <laughs> yeah. If it feels, it's awful. But if it works, you just win, don't you? And the chance guess, of it yeah, working is like you only go for it if you still got the reroll, right? And then so it's going to be, what's it going to be? It's going to be two or three GFIs, which is, which is ninety-two and a half percent or eighty-seven percent. So like, it's going to be very very high odds if you go for it. No, but it, it's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting to see if. Uh, <laughs> it's not what I would do, but like you know, at the end of at the end of like two hours of playing brain melting blood ball, <laughs> where you've you know you've you've screened with a three gap and you've you've completely failed to set up for a one turner. Maybe you just think, oh screw it, just get it over with. <laughs> you know. I mean, the, what I'm saying is that you'd only go for it if you only had two or three two pluses to roll around. Oh. Yeah, we'll tackle Mighty Blows exposed. Yes. Well, ish. Would need a guard applied to hit. Yeah, if only uh, Justice had any guard. <laughs> yeah. It's really good if it works, because you just win, and there's no thought required. So there's an element of... There's an element of that in it. As we can see here, uh, Fatal Justice is dip, at this point in the match has become obsessed by the diving tackle and, and has to swarm it with as many players as possible every single turn. He's going to blitz it, isn't he? Might it blow? Tackle might it blow? Might. Is he going to blitz the sidestep on? He's going to blitz the sidestep over here, 3D. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Can't pile on now though. Doesn't oh, happen. beautiful! Is that a mm. perm? No, it's fine. It was already perm, so even more reason to go for that one. Armor seven. A V seven, old baby. Old oh, baby. Glorified stunty. <laughs> yeah. Randor tag there. Which I don't hear on a Lorna, right? You give them the one in nine, and they can't do anything about it. I'll have to dodge off. Hello, Nova King. Where is she going? Why is she carrying? Oh, wizard. All right. Yeah. No, 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 there's no, no, no wizard. wizard. Well, it's, it's so that you can hand off to the fast one, right? That, that's it. You can have uh, the, you can have the fast one as a, as a hand off option this way. So I think it's quite reasonable to not carry on the fast one. Like, well, I think it would be reasonable to carry on the fast one as well. But. Just on wrestle, though, that's fine. Yeah, but you got you, you can't use the frenzy, right? The, the witch elf, the the frenzy is is a negatory, yeah. isn't it? Here with all this guard and that, so so you can't fucking hit with a frenzy. So just just carry on a move seven dodge, and, and forget about ever hitting with your stupid witch elf because frenzy is crap. <laughs> is I'm guessing what the thought process is. Oh, right. 
Hello. <laughs> Favorite game of the cup. Yeah. I think Gdanix versus Washburns was pretty special. Yeah, that was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. The ending of that game was <laughs> the most excited I've been about Blood Bowl for uh well, until I had a hundred percent success rate against the pitch invasion. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was just completely mind blown by. For a few days at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like literally like two days. It was like the happiest I've been about Blood Bowl until <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Doesn't pile on. Just shouldn't no. have followed, right? Shouldn't have followed. It makes it makes it just weaker. Yeah, and you went it central, didn't you? Tackle. Yep. And now everything goes to the side. The movement nine is in range. Ah, oh, we see in the old classic switcheroo here, Jim. <laughs> it it sure looks like it. Oh God, the shelf is running away. I don't know where she's going. It max movement away from the move nine. Uh, move nine and side foot. Yeah. Uh, an actual screen. Yes, an actual screen, shockingly. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, now he's got one chance to hit this movement nine, otherwise it's a very likely score, isn't it? Yeah, and his tackle when he blows all the way over the other side of the pitch, yeah. Mm. Yeah, if only he had like three And next of them. to the rackle, right? That's the worst thing, like... Yeah, this is, yeah. It's like bulls and wolves, like you just don't want them in the same place, because it's just like, it's terrible, isn't it? Like Yeah, sort of they normal. lose a lot of their power. It's like having a, a, a knight on the side of a chessboard, isn't it? Yeah. It's half, half its power. Yeah, it kind of is. It is. Well, it's equity, isn't it? It's a massive. It's a equity loss when, like, it's an unforced equity loss, right? Yeah. Like yeah. an um, it's like an unforced error in tennis, but in blood bowl, and with equity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but it's. Uh, yeah. I guess it's so, redundancy in like one of the one of the uh, one of the definitions of redundancy, isn't it? In that it's making it's making the second by having them together, you make them more than redundant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're so oh, important. In there's this a double matchup. one. Uh, there's a double one. The ball is exposed again. How would you go after this ball, Dimmy? I would. Oh, we're not in range of the rackle, are we? We're only in range of the catcher. Yeah, not in range of the rackle, no. Probably uh, try and knock down that line elf on the guard and then run through. I'd, I'd dodge, yeah, I'd just take the 2D with the Dauntless and the side stepper. Yeah. Try and knock down the elf in the middle. Yeah. that's that uh, PC aggressively early with people free to capitalise afterwards. Yeah, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? This is the right thing to move, right? You move this guard first because you're gonna have a shot at hitting him. Um, because if you power him, then you can blitz with this one. So, so that's the first yeah, thing yeah. you do is move him out of the way so you can take this hit. You make this hit, fair enough. You don't get the knockdown. Then you don't randomly move these two in for no reason. Absolutely horrendous. No, because you're gonna sack the ball and you want them to get it. Yeah. Oh, it gets the power. Yep. So you get the power. So that's brilliant. Oh. That makes you hit the ball that much easier. Don't move this guy here to do nothing. <laughs> Not yet. It's got to be the ball sack now anyway, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, so you just do the ball sack. Yeah. Don't move this guy to do nothing either. So yeah, this is four players moved. Yeah. And this is four players that could have gone to slightly different squares. Or better oh, squares. Oh, let's get the, the ball sack. Yeah. Yeah, oh. This... This uh, this that, one that even rackle. this one that even had short hands. Yeah. This is a oh blood wow! Short yeah. hands could have just gone one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god! Just unbelievable, unbelievable. To move them first. But again, it was a long game, right? And I guess brain a little bit frazzled from playing so long. Yeah, that's. I mean, it was a snake again, wasn't it? It's just it's failure states, isn't it? 
they're just not um, recognizing failure states. So they're like, obviously it looks a lot worse because they snaked. If they don't snake, it's fine. But yes. it, it's not recognizing that snakes happen, right? So it's something that Hancock talks about passionately. Is uh, yeah, he loves the fail states, doesn't he? Does it he? does. It does. He loves them. He's always banging on about failure states, and that was one that was definitely pretty bad. Mm. And uh, and it didn't get punished though, did it? Like it didn't get punished mm. half as much as it could have done. No, basically not at all. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess there's also success states, right? That's another thing. The the Zons, Fatal Justice didn't plan for the success state there. So he moved four players that could have reacted and gone to much better squares before the ball was down. That's one of the main things about turn ordering, isn't it? It's like you've got to prioritise what's more important and obviously if the ball's on the floor you want players free. And when you've got players free that you turn down because it's like if you're going to go and surf a ball carrier, like you don't want to move every player on the pitch because you, you, wherever that ball flies out, like you, you want someone to react to it, right? So yeah. it's the same thing, but without a surf. Right? Yep. Think of the ball sack. <laughs> you got to pick the highest equity line. Oh my god, is this just going to be some... I kind of hear how far forward this guy was. I you know, he's moved nine. There's no need to get that far forward, is there? I think, is that out of range of the Rackle? I think that's why. Maybe. I would guess, I guess I'd say that Rackle is two GFI, exactly two GFIs away from the... Uh, the... One GFI. One GFI. I think it was just a mindless max move. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't at all. And it's also two GFIs away from the Sackle Palmer, right? Yeah, maybe. Which, which, which is why that square makes sense to me, at least. I wouldn't mind double GFI into Wacky, even with when I would not with Maria. There's only three turns left, so I guess you just gotta. Gotta hit this one. Maybe. Wow, this has been a game and a half, hasn't it? Literally. Got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you your money's worth with this one, lads. And ladies. <laughs> yep. Oh, lady, I should have said. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yeah, uh, you never know, do you? You never know. My Google Analytics says zero percent ladies watch, but that's not true. There's, there's probably two or three <laughs> out of thousands. Yeah, we've not we've not had a female chalice winner yet either, have we? So that'll be a good that'll be a glorious day when that happens. Yeah. And Tree's very close right now, right? She's what? This is the quarterfinal, this so is the she, yeah. she's, she's two turns away from a semi-final. Yeah. Potentially. Potentially. But this is 23 and nobody's in scoring range. Except for the movement 9 at the moment. Mm. And the movement 9 makes dodge rolls here. But well, only yeah. makes one. Only makes the one. Doesn't make the second dodge with no rerolls available. Also, the ball here is quite exposed, right? One dodge through for a 1D. Um, yeah. This blitzer, uh... this blitzer moves here, right? This blitzer has gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that makes it safe. Yeah. And then we will see a random GFI, two GFI stacked for no reason. I thought that was insanity. Like, is that? It's not to get in range. It's just That's literally she just stood around. in front. It, that was just, yeah, it's just so bad. So um, so yeah, this guy's. I guess they were worried about just in range, so you blitz him out of range and put tackle on him, or you blitz him and hope you... Okay, yeah. Whatever. It's to get in range and a push. You're not going to push him, though, are you? Well, well no, fire. maybe... Uh, yeah, the reason I thought was maybe because if you if you run around and do the 1D with a rackle, you can base the ball with a power. Well, I don't know, honestly. Like, that's a, you ain't getting a stretch. You ain't getting fucking pushed, is he? Wolfpack. And that was double GFI that exposed the ball with no reroll available. 
Maybe there's a no. That's it's no. There's no excuses. You stand there and you protect the ball. That's what you do. These two don't. Yeah, These yeah. Two you, you definitely don't hit a side step it into range, do you? Yeah. Like, like. Maybe Miss Cowden thought it was into range. Yeah. That okay. That's acceptable. Enzo's Enzo's answer is is acceptable is acceptable but even then even then just standing in front was better it was still better because it makes the ball safe wasn't it oh yeah oh and then no. this is crazy from fatal justice doesn't re-roll that gfi <laughs> which is just is insanity to lose me. the game yeah yeah like obviously you put this one on the other side so you've got so it's a four two well a four two four plus away from tackle and two plus away with that with dodge and then uh oh my god so it goes to the one in nine goes to kicks oh my god kekwudi doesn't we... matter with bad kekwudi is insane because you've only got a one in nine chance of kekwudi anyway so you absolutely re-roll that 100 percent. no no doubt in my mind that you re-roll that whatsoever and there's a chance of the counter score here for fatal justice so it's not kicks yet I think I would have believed. Is this diamond tackle? No, tackle. No, fair enough. Still got another one. And fails. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, this is it's an interesting game. And I, I think there's definitely um, bits that were good and bits that were like, bad. Yeah. But I mean, the, the bits that were bad, I can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like there's some yeah, where it, you can was, yeah. you can think what they were thinking and stuff, whereas these, there was no real explanation for it. It was just literal oversight. I mean, obviously the three, this three gap screen was just an oversight. That, that's obviously just an oversight. Whereas the other things, you just think, what the hell were they thinking? <laughs> yeah. So here we go, a, a re-roll each. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of talking points. Through. Yeah, you'd think failing to score. Who is it? Who is it? Someone in chat said it was. It's really easy to score in two or three tests. <laughs> the dark elves. <laughs> uh, it took them eight and they failed. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. yeah I think it was Star saying that the one term was a bad idea because it's super easy to score in two or three. Yeah. Well, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, hats off to Fatal Justice to get into overtime, like, Defending despite the losing the toss and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. But I guess a lot of it, <laughs> it's kind of just like, he, Tree just failed everything, didn't she? Yeah. So, <laughs> it was, I don't know how much of it was him, <laughs> and how yeah. much of it was her failing, so. It's been oh, a good game. Oh, it's a miss. Zon's miss. Zon's miss. We've still got to wait and see the the Dark Elves score. They never have. They never ever have like two misses in a row. So it's just definitely a score for oh, Dark thank, Elves. Thank, thanks for spoiling that for us, Jim. Yeah. No problem. And a win for Miss Bell Tree. So there you go. Um, and now, of course, the replay breaks because cyanide things. Great replay, Jim. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good. Okay, that's what you do. There you go. That's you know good programming from Cyanide. Um, so there you go. Commiserations, Fatal Justice. Congratulations, Miss Pell Tree, uh, through to the semi-finals. There you go. What a match. Is that a level on the? Bl oh, yeah. What did you take on that? Oh no, she's out. Nothing, cause it, nothing, <laughs> nothing, because it's going to be an open, and you're never going to oh. play the team again. Way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic